Hey, what's happening? This is John Michaels from Black Pearl Reptiles. I'm Chris Rodriguez, Black Pearl Reptiles also. So we want to do a little bit of a video to let you guys know a little bit about what we do and what we work with and then what goes into taking care of indigos and kribos. It's what we specialize in. We've been doing it for a lot of years. Many, many years. A lot of years. So a little bit of a look into our animals and what we work with and we'll give you some pointers and tips on how to take care of them and we can get a little bit of information out there about the Dremarchon genus. So my story growing up was similar to what I assume uh, a lot of other people's are. I grew up catching snakes. I used to go out with my older brothers and catching garter snakes and going fishing, going hiking and doing whatever else. Uh, it wasn't far after that that I'd start catching stuff, gopher snakes and king snakes that I would find in the hills around Southern California and I'd put them together and breed them and hatch eggs and all that sort of thing. And I'd just do it for fun and then I'd take all the babies out and let them go back in the wild. I did that for a while, thought it was pretty cool. And then I started kind of getting into the pet industry and seeing that there are really cool stuff out there that's not from Southern California. So started breeding Honduran milk snakes and selling the babies for a little bit of money to kind of help pay for the mice, kind of built from there. Got my first pair of blacktail Kribos about 20 years ago. Got into that, then it just became a full-on addiction. Then I met this guy, and then it went nuts. Yeah, so I kind of had the same background as John. Kind of grew up in the in the sticks a little bit too, though. So I, I'd go out when I was a kid and collect different snakes, breed them. I didn't breed as much when I was younger, but I go collect quite a few animals. And it was kind of fun catching pond turtles as a kid in the, in the hills. As I grew up, I kind of had that passion still, so I went to school for it. Became a wildlife biologist, so I started go traveling abroad and studying these animals and uh, just followed my passion with the, the wildlife biology stuff and also had a fun time breeding and uh, hatching snakes too, so I kind of went back to that as well. So I did the biology as well as the uh, propagation for the reptiles and obviously indigos are awesome snakes, so I fell in love with them and started breeding them. I grew up with a small collection and I had a, a bunch of indigos in a small apartment and that's when I met this guy here. I had some really cool rare indigos and then uh, he, he knew what they were and we kind of met up and merged our collections and uh, the rest is history.